All right, this is Dave Lee from HS Creates, and for this vlog update, I want to show you a little project my daughter asked me to work on. Um, as a steampunk geek, it's always a pretty awesome moment when your uh, when your daughter walks up and says, uh, "Could you help me build like a big Gatlin gun arm piece?" And and I just got you know giddy, and she's feeling fearing that she's imposing, but I was just honestly I was giddy as hell. So what I did is I, uh, the two of us designed kind of like a, a Gatlin gun looking uh, arm piece. And I want to show a little in progress piece before it gets painted and is all done. Because um, uh, I just kind of finished the majority part of the electronics. It's kind of cool. So this is the, uh, the gun. It, um, it is a PVC pipe that has a bolt down at the end so she's able to put her arm in and hold that bolt and and you know hold on to it now we can always build more foam pieces to make it a bigger mechanical arm but right now it's just kind of like you know her elbow is about here and her hands here so and and really it's just the barrels are pvc pipes these i, I cut out of plywood um to make the rings to kind of hold the barrels um and then I drilled with my drill press a whole slew of um, holes here. And really that was to give it kind of a muzzle look, but also, or a barrel look, but also to um, help the light, the light shine, shine. the lights shine. And so I've got it hooked up to 110 right now, right? Just plugged into the wall, but I'll talk about that here in just a second, how I'm gonna do it with the battery. So when you turn it on, so these ones are cool because they have like the particular one I got. I specifically got one where um, the rope light is black. You see how it's this is the actual part of the rope light here, but it the background is black. Usually they're white, and since I was going to run it into barrels, I wanted it to be, you know, as hidden as possible until the lights come on. So because this part right here gets covered up in foam once I get all of this installed. But uh, again, turn it on. You can see that it's really nice and bright. And, you know, she can change the colors of the light. Um, there's different effects. I like this kind of pulsing, like if it is a some sort of arm pulse cat, uh, gun or whatever, that's a neat effect. You know, there's also like, you know, more flashing strobe kind of stuff. Um, is more like epileptic seizure increasing stuff um, yeah and anyway so it's just it's a lot of fun now so a lot of people ask me this all the time they say well if you're plugging into the wall how are you gonna make it um, uh, how are you gonna make it plugged into a battery and in the link to this or in the comments to this I will put a link to an electronics article that I wrote it's a panel that I do at a lot of conventions but um, just the, the real quick um, you know, thing here is you see this, um, this little remote um, uh, part of the electronics here is plugging into the wall. You'll see that the input voltage is um, I was saying 12 volts, but the output current. So yeah, sorry, brain fart. So this is the remote control piece, and which is why the input voltage is 12 volts. Well, when you when I get the power supply here, you'll see that with uh, the power supply, one of the things that I'm looking for is I don't really care about the input because it's obviously it's 110, but um, or if you're in Europe 220, but um, you'll notice that the output voltage is 12 volts. So what this in fact is doing is it's plugging into the wall, um, 110 volts AC, um, but what it's doing is, is it's putting out 12 volts and two amps to this remote control. So these lights will run on any kind of 12 volt battery system. And, um, and so, so the fact that it runs on a 12 volt system means I can use any one of my 11.1 .1 volt lithium ion battery packs. And, um, 
you get more technical into it, it says it's two amps. Well, the battery packs that I use that I have a link in my document are, are roughly, I think they're about closer to three and a half, three amps, something like that. So they can handle this, you know, no problem. And these battery packs are great. They'll last me a whole day at a convention, throw it on a charger at night, you know, and the next day I'm ready to go. So, yeah, this is the, um, I don't know what it, she's going to call it yet, but the Pulse Cannon um, arm piece for her Steampunk Pirates. So she is going to look pretty badass at Dragon Con. I'm, I'm excited. Cheers.